Pisces. What's going on guys? I hope you're doing well. Um, I've got a new microphone so I hope you can hear me. I got a ring light that's making my glasses look funny but that's okay. Um, it does help with you guys being able to see the cards so um, you know hopefully it's not too distracting for you and I hope you can hear me nice and clearly. So um, I am running a quick contest this week. Whoever gets the most likes and views gets to go first next time. Um, I'll do a couple um, collective spreads in between to give you guys time to catch up to the other readings. Um, I know that only makes sense. And I'm really hoping to bust out um, the rest of the videos for this channel today. So um, let's start the reading real quick Pisces with um, a prayer, a quick prayer, and then uh, we'll get right into it. Oh, and this is going to be your abundance reading. So I hope you really enjoy this. I hope this helps give you some really good tips on how to bring in more abundance and whatever that means for you, whether abundance is love um, or something else, you know, money. Um, abundance can be loads of things. Health, you know, I try to stare clear the health stuff just because this light is getting even distracting for me. Okay, so anyway, uh, dear Father God, Mother Gaia, Higher Self, spirit guides and angels please protect me and my viewers by only allowing messages in from the highest vibrational beings and block any negative energies from entering this sacred space so mo it be okay so anywho guys i hope you are having um an amazing may it's almost over we're going to be going into june and into summer and um i really think that leo season is going to be super popping for a lot of people um you know fall looks a little more iffy but you know it was crazy i'm just seeing like some of the stuff that i predicted in december and january coming up now it's real interesting so anyway unleash the wild within um time for my pisces to get out there if you can, if it's safe to do so. I know that like, you know, and this could be on the internet. It doesn't necessarily have to be out there, you know, in public already, you know? It could be out there as in getting, um, you know, more attention. Um, and then the hunter, hunt down your fears and desires. So Pisces, if you've been afraid to do anything recently, afraid to get out or afraid to launch that, product or business or whatever figure out why figure out what what's holding you back and why you know is there more to learn is there or are you ready you know uh, connect with your emotions about the whole thing and shift your perception because um, it looks like Pisces whatever it is that you're doing no matter what you choose to do to bring abundance in, you absolutely need to do something that keeps you emotionally happy and stable. I think that's got to be the biggest thing for you. I think that something that wears you down or keeps you, you know, um, jacked up isn't helpful. <laughs> you know, anything that is emotionally draining isn't helpful, I think, for a Pisces, to be 100% honest with you. Uh, make plans and focus, so make a plan and focus. I think that's a um, that's a big deal. Where is my bastard deck? Okay, I put these onto a different side. This light is driving me crazy with my glasses. People were right. Oh my god, everybody was right about the ring light and glasses. It is tough. It's making me want to get contacts. Uh, let me know if I if you think I should get contacts. All right. Oh, I hope my Pisces haven't been suffering from allergies like this girl has because it's been rough lately. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. How can my Pisces bring in abundance? You know, really shifting your perception about what you're doing. Ooh, it looks like Pisces isn't sure what to do. That's the part of tracking down your fears and desires. Oftentimes, we have so many great ideas and we want to go in a million different directions. Centering and, and picking one. Because if you're going in 12 different directions at one time, ooh, Patience over the options and choose the stability. Okay, look, Pisces. Sometimes when it comes to abundance, you have to open up doors, right? And have multiple streams of income. However, you should be focusing on one thing that's bringing in. I, I, I really do feel like you have multiple, multiple ideas, but not all of these ideas are gonna bring abundance to you. 
one or two will. So focus on doing one or two things really well. That's gonna be your goal. And then go from there. Yep, yep, June and the next upcoming months, you'll be doing things more on your own. Know that you can, be, you can do battle by yourself, Pisces, and that you also have the ability to move towards calmer situation. Whatever it is that's scaring you, I don't think is a real like fear. I think you're just a little spread out and a little confused as to which direction to take. Pick one for now. Pick one, pick the one that's probably most likely to make you the most money and go with that first. Then go to, <laughs> you know, or if this is a relationship and you're having a hard time choosing which person to be with, take some time alone and really figure it out. Um, you know, but I'm not getting relationship. I'm getting career more than anything for this abundance reading for you. Five of Cups. Yeah, you're disappointed with the um, results, I think, of what you've been doing so far. Four of Cups. Yeah, Five of Cups to the Four of Cups to the Two of Wands. It's almost like Pisces has put a lot of work in and hasn't gotten a lot of like results from it. And that's too bad, Pisces. I'm really sorry. If you shift your perception and focus on one thing versus spreading yourself out super, super thin, I think you'll be way better off. I think you've got too many things going on. That's the vibe I'm getting. All right, here we go. Nine of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles. Yes and yes, thank you kindly. If you're working with a group of people, Pisces, I'm not getting that that's the best choice for you but you need to be emotionally stable. You need to be choosing things that don't disrupt your emotion, things that help keep you even and make you happy versus something that is gonna be an emotional roller coaster for my Pisces. Nine of Cups with the Nine of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. You've got, you're at the nines or you're gonna be coming to the nine in June once you center yourself. The money is gonna come in. Don't worry about it, no doubt. I have no doubt, Pisces. If this, if you were looking for a money reading, this is it, baby. I love it. Wheel of Fortune. The wheel's turning, and it's going to turn in your favor again. All right? Don't get too bogged down by depression and, um, you know, feeling like lack, feeling upset. Ten of Cups. Jeez. Yeah. Pisces, choose the job or partner that makes you feel the best emotionally. So maybe it isn't the one that makes the most money. Maybe it's the one that makes you feel good. That's the one you gotta do. That's the one that is, you know, and, and the money will come. You want a career, not a job. And you need to really focus on one thing because you, you're spreading yourself too thin. Yeah, do the research online to figure out what is the most efficient use of your time, Pisces? The sun at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, Leo season's gonna be pop pen, and I think that also includes my Pisces collective. So, that's a beautiful thing, guys. Beautiful, I love it, love it. I love it a lot. So, all right, let's see. Ooh, wow, that's a lot of cards, Spirit. That's too many, I'm sorry. Let's try this again. There was a lot of good cards though. Sorry, Pisces. That was just, it's too many for one thing. All right, so what does Pisces need to do moving forward to bring in more abundance? What else does Pisces need to do moving forward? Hang in there, there's your own card. That's your card, Pisces. Three of cups, two of pence, the star. Okay, duh, here's another Leo card. Heal that indecision and have a little fun. Leo needs to blow off, I mean, Leo. Pisces needs to blow off some steam. So you definitely want to, uh, you could be dealing with the Leo, I guess. I don't know. But um, healing that indecision, focusing on the one thing. This is, this is stuff I've seen before with people, not necessarily a Pisces, but stuff I've seen before where people have had a million great ideas and just didn't go anywhere spinning the wheels because 
all their ideas were great, but they didn't know where to start. You know, you gotta focus, focus. I'm getting mad ADD uh, energy. June, 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 June. You know what's so funny is um, for this song, I was, like for some reason I was thinking about this reading and I was getting, damn, 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 James. Damn, 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 James. You remember that old Outcast song? That song is freaking amazing. Um, Whoever James is. I have a James who is a Pisces watching this. However, <laughs> I'm a terrible singer and I'm so sorry. I wonder if it sounds even worse with the microphone. Um, let go of the pain. Because June, 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 June. Yeah. After you break up and drop this pain, I mean, there does seem to have been a major tower moment in your life and you need to let go of that you need to let go of some pain you need to like release it because you've got second chances coming in pice all right and let go of the indecision the indecision is getting you in big trouble if the indecision card comes out of the patriarchal i'm going to crack up crack up you got second chances coming in victory all over the place in june move towards it we're almost there, guys. Um, not saying everything is going to be better in June. You know, and with the way things have been handled by the powers that be, it, 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 things aren't getting fixed very quickly. But, but, Pisces, you've been hanging with dogs. And, and it's, you just got to, you know, Kick them. I don't know. Don't kick the dogs. But don't let... I meant to tell them to kick rocks, basically, is what I meant to say. Don't ever kick a dog. I will be so mad at you if you ever kick a dog, Pisces. <laughs> that is terrible. Holy shit. Um, but humans who act like dogs. Humans who act like animals. Kick them to the curb. Do you. I'm getting get some sleep. Pisces, you need some sleep. Yeah, because you're feeling the weight of the world right now. And get some sleep, have some fun, focus on one thing. That's the biggest thing. And generosity will come in. It definitely will. I'm getting pulled to this Lenormand deck. Ooh, and I forgot to do the um, Divine Feminine for Cancer. I feel bad. Cancer in the Aries but got chipped. That's all right. Ooh. Talk to other people if you have to. Like, talk to other people who do what you want to do. That's going to help you out. Because then they'll help guide you. And whip you into shape and give you really good advice. Uh, it's the 12 to the 11. So it's almost like you may feel like you get brought down a peg. But it's, it's important for you to learn from people who came before you, you know? Do the work, too. Shit, Pisces, that's a lot of advice. <laughs> Do the work, focus on one thing, get some rest, have some fun. You know, I know, I know it's a lot, but you can handle it. You can handle it, Pisces. Um, you know, I think that, um, it hasn't been easy for anybody recently. And I know that a lot of Pisces are feeling the weight of the world right now. But just know that, you know, you're very blessed. This Pisces has a lot of good going on and some really great ideas. So I can't wait to see what comes of this person. And I really hope that, like, you know, you're able to balance. I think the whole message more than anything else is focusing on work-life balance, getting the rest and having fun, getting your mind right when you are at work and focusing on one thing, you know, really devoting time 
in space to what you're doing when you're supposed to be doing it. Oh, I forgot about the divine. Let me, th let me pull one more card for Pisces. Sorry. Um, oh, that was quick. Whoa. All right. These, these two have been coming out a lot. Uh, goddess of discernment, right? So like I was saying, be careful. Like choose, choose the thing that makes most emotional and financial sense. Balance those things, you know, because you are a divine feminine. There may be some divine feminines watching here. And I, I hold the universe within me. And I am the force of ever-expanding love. You got that right, Pisces. You are the cosmic egg. I spend my time wisely. And I only say yes when it's a holy hell yes. You got that right, Pisces. All right. I love you very much. Please like and uh, share so the views go up. And... Um, Please let me know if you want a personal. You can email me at mummifyatarot at gmail.com. I'm hoping to have a better booking system uh, lined up. And I'm also thinking about starting a Patreon or a Vimeo. So let me know in the comments what you think about that too, Pisces, okay? All right. Love you guys. Bye.